Shellfish in estuaries need clean water to thrive, but faecal contamination threatens their viability and can lead to shellfish and humans contracting E. coli. But where does the contamination come from? The England Catchment Sensitive Farming Initiative officers and local farmers are working together to improve the problem. The trouble was that E. coli could have come from human sewage or from livestock and we really needed to find out which it did come from. So we did some DNA analysis and the results came back really surprising. Nearly all of the E. coli came from livestock. The fact that we've got the DNA evidence really helped to convince the farmers to get right behind the project. The catchment sensitive farming officers worked with farmers to reduce contamination by providing advice and support, such as erecting fencing that keeps cattle away from watercourses. If you've ever seen anyone with E. coli, you know why we had to fence the stream out, because they're very ill people. We got a grant from the stewardship people to put up the fence, which kept the cattle out, stopped them from weeing and pooing in the stream, which gave us a clean river. And then the oysters were healthy and clean again. No one then could put the blame on the farmer because he had done his bit. Research has shown that fencing off 30% of a catchment can reduce faecal indicator organisms such as E. coli by 60 to 80%. This alone will make a huge difference to the water quality of the estuary. This scheme was fundamental in saving our business. Once it was clearly established that the cattle were the major factor of the E. coli levels and the fencing of the cattle out of the feeder streams drastically improved the quality of our river and since we've done that, the river has improved immensely. We won Taste of the West, best oysters in the whole of the southwest. And if it wasn't, wasn't for the action of catchment sensitive farming, uh, we wouldn't be here today and we wouldn't have such a good quality product. But there are wider benefits too. 2010 is the 50th anniversary of the designation of the South Devon area of outstanding natural beauty. And clean water is good for tourism. So this is a Blue Flag Award beach and enjoying really high quality water is essential for the swimmers and surfers who come here. There's a lot of interest from local people as well and the community is involved in things like litter picks and, uh, and keeping the quality of the environment really good. And the water quality is really important for the shell fisheries, for the fish and for the wildlife. Everybody benefits from this and makes it a really fantastic environment. The benefits of the ECS FDI scheme include it'll make the water cleaner, improving the environment. There are fewer pollution events. The public can be confident of safer shellfish. The beaches and water quality are cleaner for tourists. When the farmers realised the connection between farming and E. coli, their reaction was amazing. They've worked really closely with us and in the past three years they've put up over 41 kilometres of fencing. It's just been brilliant. To find out more about how the ECS FDI can help you take measures that will protect the shoreline environment, please contact 